The health hub that's been, uh, that's been talked about, and uh, uh, Trevor may have just overstated it when he said that there's a commitment. I met with the Director General of Health this week just to make sure that I was able to inform you accurately and completely as far as that medical hub. Now, it's one of the things that came out of this Council 2030 plan is that they wanted to establish a health hub at Redland Bay, Redland Bay and in proximity to Wynum Creek, and I applaud that. I, I went and had a chat to the DG about that so that I could uh, bring you up to date. It is in its very, very early stages. It's in its infancy. There has been no agreement entered into. There's no money on the table. But what there is, is a willingness of, of Queensland Health to work with council who are working on a, a, a medical type precinct at uh, or near Wynum Creek. And the, uh, the Director General is very encouraged, uh, encouraging of that. He is supporting it. They are working in partnership with council, but it will also be in partnership with the development. So the development will need to, you know, uh, allow that to happen within their precinct. Council will need to facilitate it, and then Queensland Health will buy in. But it's not a medical centre as you might be thinking. When you talk about a health hub and a wellness centre, it covers a multitude of sins. It's more proactive than reactive. But what will happen is they will be able to, uh, you know, outsource to the islands from Wynum Creek and provide outreach services to the islands. But it is about holistic medicine and it's about that kind of thing, about wellness in advance rather than a medical centre that you might be thinking. However, they will ally, and it's strongly believed that they will ally with dental practitioners, uh, radiographers and x-ray facilities, uh, with medical GPs as well in that precinct. So it will be a partnership with a uh, private enterprise, with council and with the state government. But at this moment in time, there is no agreement, there is no commitment to money, there's only a commitment that yes, they recognise there's an opportunity there, yes, there is a need there that will, will address uh, some way of the island issues, and yes, there is uh, still a, a long road to go. very strongly. I would get behind it 100% because I do believe this needs to come to fruition. As I'm led to believe that the peak from the islands, once you get off the ferry and disembark, it then takes two bus rides to reach Redlands Hospital. To me personally, that's totally unacceptable. It's unacceptable for the elderly who need the support with x-rays, with blood tests, and this health hub to me is, is, is as important as the transport um, issue is because we need to have this health hub done, down, around. I'd love to see something on the clay or Russell, that would even be better. But the commitment that I've been told is that the state government has committed to a health hub of around 10 million. Peter and I have different views on that and that's fine. I totally understand that. But that's the commitment I've been, I've been told, that they know that that is something that's necessary and needs to happen very soon. I mean, obviously, it probably will be down around the Wynum Creek area, that bottom end of Redlands, because it'll also work for the people of Redlands as well. But I can assure you that when I found out this information about the two bus trips, I was honestly gobsmacked. I could not believe that that's how hard it is for people to get to Redlands Hospital, let alone to go further into the city or the other side of town. And I will give you the commitment that I would fight 100% to make sure that health hub actually happens around the area. Thank you. I spent five years as chairperson of the Bayside District Health Council uh, back in 1998 through to 2002-2003. Um, I'm fully aware of the complexities of health um, and certainly uh, with the growing population both on the islands and locally around Redland Bay, there seems to be a need uh, that, uh, that we would support. But our position is one of uh, trying to do more for preventative health um, and do, and we also managed to persuade the Gillard government to invest in dental care, which is bringing some degree of dental services into, uh, in, 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 un, in under Medicare. Uh, if you don't have good teeth, you don't have good health. And that's a fact. It can even actually lead to things such as heart disease by, by having poor, poor oral health. 
So just looking at the higher level, uh, Greens are very much committed to prevention rather than cure. But obviously uh, we know that uh, Queensland Health needs uh, emergency treatment itself. Uh, we're only too aware of the uh, proliferation of waste that's taken place. Uh, bureaucracy has gone wild in the Queensland Health and as a sort of a, if you like, the last size of a dying government, they came up with a plan to split it in two, which I don't think anyone really understands why. Uh, and uh, it would only probably lead to more uh, miscommunication. So I, I think it, it needs to be a new hope, a new approach to health. It needs to be more focused on prevention and integration into the local health facility. I know from the, my work on the District Health Council that often things happen without some form of integration with the local hospital. The local hospital being the hub and the uh, outlying services uh, need to link in with those. Uh, the problem with some private practices is they run their own race, take, take on work that they shouldn't be taking on, it's too complex for them, and uh, then that gets thrown back in the public system. There needs to be, again, a better plan, uh, but again, this is infrastructure following massive development that we've seen in the last 10 or 15 years. The balance in the development of South East Queensland has been fundamentally wrong. And now uh, we've got an ageing population crying out for health services uh, and having to go across town to the Redland Hospital.